Yeah, so um, I want to show everyone um, a quick setup of how I do a hotel Prius with two people, um, fitting nice and cozy. And we also have uh, our dog with us as well. And she's gonna sleep, sleep in the uh, front seats, all nice and cozy too. It's pretty straightforward. You don't have to be too uh, extravagant. You know, get a whole bunch of wood and all these builds and totes. Um, you can keep it pretty simple. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. So this is the first <clears throat> sunset here at the ranch. As you can see, pretty good chill day on the ranch. Nice and flat, nice and dusty. You ready to know? Over yonder are some neighbors, <clears throat> maybe, I don't know. Today the first quest was uh, setting up some markers laying out the property lines, and hopefully gonna get the boys in to excavate. I got uh, markers gleaning down there. The first grove over there is gonna have a first little development over there. Gonna have a road going across over by this next grove of trees. That's where the villagers are gonna be, the nice tiny home villages. In between here is gonna be the banquet hall. And uh, somewhere in between all this gonna be livestock, but that's gonna really be the first bit. Enough for us to live, you know, community hall and place for lodging. Yep, catch in with y'all later. All right, so here's where we're at on uh, my 11 acres. Before we get the road built and some tiny homes. Sorry, there's some mosquitoes out here. I wanted to show y'all a uh, hotel Prius for two. So as you can see here, Got the hatch open. Ain't nothing better than that view, huh? As you can see, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, we have a foam, memory foam mattress down here, yoga mat, and then an air pad. And then here we got um, down sleeping bag by Nemo. And it's kind of the same setup here. Foam, another yoga mat, and sleeping bag. Um, you can choose to get a sleeping pad or not, like this one, if you want it a little firmer. And we got our nice pillows over there. Of course, you should never come off-road without a spare tire. And uh, here's another look inside of the cabin. And you got tinted windows, you can't see out. Uh, Drop my water bottle, shout out to Code Epoxy. Um, but as you can see, the driver's seat's nice and uh, empty. Nice and empty. Um, just got, you know, our extra stuff up here. Just take off in the morning. And uh, as you can see right now, I don't have the cargo top on. Traveling light. Um, but yeah, can't complain. Hotel Prius, in a nutshell. And <clears throat> that's the tour. That's living the life. Van life, car life, farm life, and uh, I never thought I would be living in my van, I mean, living in my Prius for the night <coughs> on my own property. So super blessed. Um, there's gonna be a lot of developments. We're gonna put in this road. Um, Really soon, I was putting in some markers and making sure I got everything all surveyed nicely. <clears throat> and yeah, it could take you along the journey. Um, but thanks for watching. So now you can do a hotel Prius, especially if you got that all-wheel drive Prius um, in a lot of places. I won't say anywhere, but <laughs> definitely a lot of places. And as always, uh, stay peaceful, stay positive, stay progressive, stay productive, stay proactive. And I promise you, not only will you be blessed, but you will always have been blessed. Please, thank you all for watching. Love.